Bicycles, sneakers, luggage, baseball hats, TVs. If they come from China, they've likely got tariffs on them, up to 25%. Tariffs that make them more expensive for American businesses to import and more expensive for American consumers to buy. But with inflation now soaring, U.S. Trade Representative Catherine Tai told Congress this week that lifting the tariffs would not provide much inflation relief and should remain in place. They are having an impact. Uh, I think the question what is, um, well, um, uh, uh, they've certainly been noticed um, uh, in Beijing, certainly. That was Tai in April, arguing that the tariffs aren't so much about trying to punish China. I think it is more about um, how we can shape the U.S.-China trade relationship um, and, uh, again, to realign it, to create incentives for our economic actors to ensure that this relationship is one that feels balanced, that is fair. Former President Trump imposed the tariffs in 2018 and 2019 because, he claimed, China was misappropriating U.S. technology and intellectual property. China responded with tariffs of its own on imported American goods. The two sides reached a truce at the beginning of 2020, signing the so-called Phase 1 Agreement, which reduced some tariffs while also calling on China to import more American manufactured and agricultural goods. Economists say China is living up to its Phase 1 commitment to import more agricultural products from the U.S., especially imports of wheat, soybean, and corn. But President Biden said last week that China has not yet met its import goals on those manufactured American goods. Biden said he'd be willing to lift the tariffs, but, quote, we're not there yet. Meantime, China has called for the tariffs to end. Against a backdrop of high inflation worldwide for the interests of enterprises and consumers, it's beneficial to both countries and the world to remove all additional tariffs on China. It's mixed advice that the president is getting now. Tai said it's never a good idea to walk away from the leverage that the tariffs provide. But the head of the American Apparel and Footwear Association said last week that it's never a good time for these tariffs, and now is a particularly bad time for them. Andy Rosedom, CGTN America, Washington.